In this video, we are going to see how to enroll student in Learnist on successful Razorpay payment. So let's say that you're using Razorpay as a payment gateway and every time a customer has made payment for a particular course on Razorpay, then automatically the person should be added as a learner in Learnist, which is an online teaching application. Now, how can that happen? For that, you will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Razorpay and your action application would be Learnist. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pavli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if, if you already have an account with us, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. And here we have reached the all applications page. So we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using this software. So I'm going to click on access now. And now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see another tab, create workflow. So let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that every time a payment is captured through Razorpay for a particular course, then the user who has made that payment should be added as a learner in Learnist for that particular course. So I'm going to name it as Enroll Student and Learnist on Successful Razorpay Payment. Let's click on Create. Now as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One, one is Trigger, another one is Action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now here my trigger application would be Razor Pay Payment. So every time a payment is made then only this workflow will run. So I'm going to select Razor Pay over here. And now the trigger event would be Payment Captured. Let's click on this. Here on the right hand side, you can see a tab which says instant. Basically, this says that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time, which basically means that this trigger application has got no polling time. And here we have received a webhook URL. Basically, this webhook URL is going to act as a connection between Razorpay and Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to copy this to set up this connection and we have to follow the below steps. So what do we actually have to do? We have to go and log into our Razorpay account. So now I'm going to take you to my Razorpay account. So this is the Razorpay dashboard. Here I'm going to go down and click on settings. As soon as we are here, we are going to go up to webhooks. Now here you can see add new webhook. Let's click on this. I'm going to paste the URL that we have just copied here. And then what would be the active event? It would be payment captured. Let's click on create webhook. So here we can see the webhook has been saved successfully. Coming back to Pabli Connect, now it is saying that once you have set up this connection, we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response and we can understand that the integration process is a success. So taking you back to Razorpay, here we have to go to payment pages. Once we are here, let's say that I wish to make a payment for this particular course, online PHP course for beginners. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And now this is the page URL. I'm going to copy this, open this in a new tab. So this is your payment gateway. Now here, let's select the product. This is the product. What's the price? It's 499 rupees. Now what's your full name? So let's say it is new user 123. The email address is new user 123 at pavlitudes.com. Now your WhatsApp number. And if you have a GSG number, then you can also provide the same. Let's click on pay rupees 499. So as soon as I have done that here, it has shown me all the payment methods. So I'm going to choose card. So let's say these are the details and now the CVV number. So I'm just going to write a mock number. Then the OTP. Remember that this is not a genuine OTP. Let's click on submit. And as soon as we have done that here, we can see that our payment has been made successful. Taking you back to Pabli Connect. 
here we have received the api response so what all have we received the entity status is captured as i take you down this is the mobile number then the full name of the person email address and also the name of the product so this is the amount that has been paid now here you can see that it was only 499 rupees but here it is showing 49900 why because there is a little glitch razor pay does not take decimal into consideration and that is why it is showing this number so now my next objective is that the user who has just made that payment should be added as a learner in learnist but before that we have to make sure that this payment has been captured for a particular course so all the payments captured for this particular course only should be added as a learner in learnist so now i'm going to add an action application here which is a feature by pabli filter now here i'm going to select the name of the course so if i take you down here we have the name of the course now this should be here we have got different options i'm going to make this equal to so if this is equal to now taking you up so this is the product name so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste this over here so basically every time a payment has been captured for this product then only it should be added as a new learner in learnist now i'm going to click on save and send test request so here we can see the condition is true why because yes we have created the payment for this course only now next is i'm going to add another action step here and this time the application would be learnist let's click on this so as soon as the user has made the payment first he has to sign up so this action will register a new learner to your learners platform so we are going to click on this and click on connect so here public connect is asking to connect itself with the learners account and to set up this connection we have to click on add new connection and now we need a school id and api key from where can we find this to get the api key and school id navigate to dashboards left side bar marketing app integration pabli and settings so let me take you to learnest and here i'm going to go to marketing and then integrations once we are here we have to go to pabli and here you can see settings let's click on this and this is our school id and the api key so i'm going to quickly copy this go back to pabli connect paste this over here and then the api key so here again this is the api key i'm going to copy this go back to pabli connect and paste this once done let's click on save so here we can see that Pabli Connect is now connected with Learnist. And now here we have to map the email address of the person. So I'm going to click on this and go to step one. And this here down is the email address of the person. Now what is mapping? What have we just done? So mapping is basically that we have got some information in our previous step and we are just going to retrieve it here. And why didn't I write this manually? Because every time the workflow runs there would be new data and if i write this manually it will not capture the new data now let's click on save and send test request and here we can see that we have received the response so this is the email address this is the new name and this is the user id of the person so once we are done with this now we have to enroll the person to that particular course so i'm going to add another action step over here again i'm going to choose the application learnist let's click on this now the action event here would be paid enrollment. Basically this action will add a product to the learner with paid access. So I'm going to click on this, click on connect and I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection by clicking on save. And here we have to map the email address and the course title. So the email address for this, I'm going to go to step one and this here is the email address of the person and the course title. So for this, let me take you back to my learner's account. So this is my learner's account and if I take you to content, so here we have got courses. I already have created two courses, and this course is online PHP course for beginners. So that has already been created. So now I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect and here what is the course title for this again. I'm going to go to step one and this is the course title. Let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see that the user has been added to the product with paid access and this is the course ID. So basically we have successfully finished our integration. Now I'm going to take you back to my Learnist account and here let's go to our users to see if this user has been created. We are going to go to learners and yes here you can see that demo dummy 
this user has been created as a learner in Learnist and also it is associated with online PHP course for beginners. Now we also need to check this in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Razorpay and here I'm again going to do a purchase. So I'm again going to copy the link, open this in a new tab over here. So once done here, let's fill in the details. So the full name is let's say this time it is new user 123. Email address here is new user 123 at pablitudes.com. And then we have the WhatsApp number and now I'm going to click on pay. As I do that here, we have to select the payment mode. Let's select the card, fill in the details, fill in the mock CVV number. As I do that here, we have to fill in the OTP. So once done, let's click on submit. And here we can see that the payment has been successful. As soon as our payment is done here, it is successful. What should happen? This user should be created as a learner and learnist. So now I'm going to take you to my learnist account. And here let's go back to learners. And you can see that yes, we have got the user over here and he's associated with this course. So this basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Razorpay where the event was payment captured. Then our action application was filter which is a feature by Pabli. Second action application was Learnist where the event was to sign up. And the final action application was again Learnist where the event was paid enrollment. I hope you are very much clear with this. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.